In the name of Allah, the Beneficent, the Merciful, respected viewers, brothers and sisters in Islam, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Modern medicine has proven as well as displayed many facts that go hand in hand with what the Ahlul Bayt have said over 1400 years ago. Many topics were greatly discussed by members of the Ahlul Bayt, but because of all the misconceptions that surround the religion of Islam, people seem to disregard or ignore these facts. One of these topics is overeating. Overeating has had many bad results. Modern medicine has proved that most of these diseases, curls, lines on the skins that deform the attractive liniments of men and women, accumulation of fats, deepness of the eyes, exhausting powers, and ailed mentalities are the reasons of all these defects because of the continuous gluttony and the fatty foods. It has been also proven that overeating exhausts the stomach and creates various sorts of health problems. Abu al-Hasan said, if people have moderate food, their bodies will be healthy. He once ate some dates, drank water, and then beat on his stomach with his hand and said, away with him who lets his stomach cause him to be in hell. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has created mankind for a purpose that is so divine that if they were to follow it, they would be considered above the angels. When a human forgets this divine message and purpose and focuses on matters that are so irrelevant, they will eventually go astray. It is necessary for the overeater to try his best to train himself on moderate food. The protective and remedial constitution for health is the moderation of food and the avoidance of overeating. Imam Ali, peace be upon him, has said, a person who would like the food to not cause him harm should not eat until his bowels are clear and he feels very hungry. When he begins to eat, he should recite Bismillah. The food should be chewed and then there is a little bit of hunger left to be appeased, he should stop eating. Indeed, Allah says in the Quran, eat and drink and be not extravagant. Surah 7, Ayah 31. And the Holy Prophet, peace be upon him and his progeny has said, we are human, we do not eat until we feel hungry. And when we eat, we do not sedate ourselves. We do not eat excessively. A very simple narration of the Prophet that we can always keep in mind, eat when you desire and stop while you still desire. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala does not forbid us from eating. On the contrary, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala encourages us to eat. But as with everything else, it must moderate and only want the human body truly needs. Thank you for watching. Join in to the upcoming episodes. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.